Okay, so this will be your homework. Uh, this will be due um, by, I will say I'll put the grades in on Monday. We don't have school Monday, so I want to put these in. So I want you guys to get this done. But the first screen I'm going to show you is a graph, uh, the graphing calculator. We played around the, with this in class, and I really want you to get comfortable with this uh, graphing calculator. So what I'm going to do is just type in y equals 3x plus 4, or plus 3. Okay, and then I'm going to type in something else. I'm going to go y equals 3x plus, actually not plus, I'll do minus 5. And I'm going to look at this and I want to say, what do you first notice about these two equations? That's interesting. And how many solutions does this have? Okay. Now, let me just mess around and have some fun here. What if I said 1 half x um, plus 1? What if I had asked you this question and said, how many solutions does this graph have? All right, interesting. And then now I'm going to mess with you a little bit. The same thing of 3x, if I put 9 over 3, isn't that the same as 3? So watch what I'm going to do. 9 over 3x plus 3. All right, what if I said plus 2? It would have been right there, but I'm going to do plus 3. Look at my line. It gets darker. Why does that happen? Because it is on the same line. Remember, 9 over 3 can reduce to 3 over 1, which is the same as this. These two lines are exactly the same. So if I was to pick points, all of these points would be on both lines. How many solutions are here? It's infinite. So that's kind of what we talked about today. It's a little interesting, a little confusing, but I don't want it to mess with you too much, all right? I do want you to mess with this graphing calculator. Whenever you struggle with graphing, you can always throw anything you want into this thing, okay? If you wanted to put 1 over 3x on its own, where is my y-intercept? It's at 0. You see that? Okay, so that's something interesting you have to follow along with as well. Okay, cool. Now I want to go into... The second part of class was really going into situations. All right, so go ahead and write this down. Situations. Um, go ahead and write this down. Extra credit. I'll give extra credit if it's posted. I love that idea to help some grade books, okay? To help some grades. Now, if we were going to do situations, what if I talked about, uh, let's just talk about a family. Billy, write this down. Billy, uh, Billy's, we're going to do Billy's. Family, I know it's a little messy, is saving for a vacation. All right, it looks a little messy, but go ahead and write it down. Billy's family is saving for a vacation. All right, now we have some kind of context we're going to go into. All right, we have some kind of idea what's going on here. All right, so Billy's family is saving for a vacation. They already have $500 saved, all right? They already have $500 saved. They already have $500, all right, saved. That's important. They then save $200 every month. They then save $200 every month. Okay. My question for you now is to go ahead and write this out in slope intercept form. It is set up for you. Remember, the slope is the change that's happening. The intercept is what the starting point is, the starting amount. All right, where is the starting amount? So for me, when I look at this, the starting amount, they already have $500 saved. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this out. Y equals, and then they already saved $500. All right, they already saved it. And then the slope, I'm gonna get a little crazy with the slope. Instead of putting X here, what can I call this month? Can I call it an M? Sometimes they're going to use different letters. So I'm going to put M here. I wish I could write that a little neater. M. 
And what is it every month? All right, so $200 every month. So here's the idea. How much money, I'm gonna ask you some questions here. How much after two months? How much after four months? How much after six months, okay? I'm gonna to wanna to know what the totals are. How much after two months? Let's think about this. Where are you gonna put the two? Where the months are, all right? So how much money after two months? Let me go ahead and autofocus this. 200 times two is 400. 400 plus 500 is gonna be, they're gonna have 900 bucks. Guys, vacations are expensive, especially if you have a big family, okay? All right, now four months. What if I plug four in here instead? Go ahead and do that math. 400 times two, or four times 200. Four times 200 plus the 500. Don't forget to plus the 500. And then do the same for six and give me some answers. All right? Four months, what is it? And six months, what is it? Okay, so for four months, it'd be four times 200, which is 800. Four times 200 is 800. 800 plus 500? $1,300. And then six, six months, six times 200 is 1,200. 1,200 plus 500? 1,700. Okay. But the main gist, the main goal is that you can take this information and put it into slope intercept form. All right. Now let's go old school because this is a skill we're going to need for next week. Are you ready? All right, what if I said 5x plus 20 equals, we'll say 3x plus 40. These are about as tough as the equations are gonna get this unit. Remember, remember, draw your separation bar. We're gonna do this together. I'm not gonna make you do all this on your own. Remember letters to the left, numbers to the right. Letters to the left, numbers to the right. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use a different color. I'm gonna move three X over. And if this is brand new to you, just follow along. Why did it do negative three X? Because I wanna get this over here and I wanna get rid of this. How do I get rid of a positive three X? I make it negative three X, it turns to zero, it's gone. This isn't here anymore, okay? I can almost do a little cross out there, okay? It's gone. But now on this side, it moved, and now it's 2x, right? It brings it down to 2x plus 20 equals, this comes down, 40. Now you got to kick out the 20. How do you get rid of the 20? Subtract 20 to both sides. I get 2x equals 20. I don't know why I make my twos like this and like this. It kind of bothers me. All right, but forget about it. Let's finish the problem. Divide two to both sides. X is going to be all alone. X equals 10. Okay, little old school here, but we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back old school. Okay. One more, one more. Let's go. What if I said... 3x plus 100 equals x plus 60. All right, this one could get a little confusing. Actually, I'm going to say 600. Sorry, change it. I'm going to make it a little nicer on you. First of all, when you look at this problem, again, I want you to separate your, 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 your stuff here, separate it out. And what I want to see is this is a 1x. Whenever you see an X all alone, feel free to put a one in front of it. There's an invisible one there. I wish they would always put it there, but they do not. Okay. And this is a three X, obviously. We want to get all our letters to one side, all our variables on one side. This is the whole goal and all our constants on the other. Remember variables on one side, constants on the other to the event that we eventually have X equals, let's just say two. Not that that's the answer. But you eventually want to just have it be x all alone, nothing with it, equals something. 
not a squared, all right, not a two, all alone, all right, to, to an answer, okay? And that's not our answer, so I'm going to cross that out, but, because I don't want to confuse you, but here we go. We're going to go ahead and subtract 1x to this side. We're going to get 2x plus 100 equals 600. Now we're going to get our constants to one side by subtracting 100. That cancels out. 2x equals 500. Divide 2. All right. X, what's half of 500? If I said you get to give me half of $500, what's half of $50? 25. So half of 500 is 25 with a zero. All right, you guys, let's get ready for next week. It's going to be the same kind of week. Monday is a holiday. And then we'll have Tuesday, 246, Wednesday, 135, Tuesday, or Thursday, 246, Friday, 1, 3, and 5. All right, have a great weekend. Get this done.